Hello students, we have already studied classification of algae into various divisions. Smith divided algae into seven divisions, out of that one of the divisions is Rhodophyta. So now let us study the classification of Rhodophyta, the red algae. Now let us see what are Rhodophyta. Yes, the, it is commonly called red algae. Mostly marine, few genera are found in fresh waters. Pigments present are chlorophylls, r phycocyanin r phycoerythrin carotenes and xanthophylls. Bind it, it is r phycocyanin and r phycoerythrin In cyanophyta, you find c phycocyanin and c phycoerythrin Reserve food material is chloridian starch. You have studied chlorophyta. What you have studied? What is the reserve food material in chlorophyta? Yes, it is starch. When you treat that starch with iodine, you get a blue coloration. But here, you won't get a blue coloration. You will get reddish wine color. That's why the name is chloridian starch. In this algae, vegetative and reproductive structures are without flagella. They are non-motile. Classify Rhodophyta. Rhodophyta, also called red algae. It has been derived from a Greek word rhodon, which means red, rose, and phyton, which means plant. So the color of these algae is red. They show variation in the color, somewhat reddish, light red, dark red, bluish, purplish red. And these are the ranges in coloration according to the depth. This phenomenon of adjustment of photosynthetic pigments according to the depth is known as chromatic adaptation or Gadi-Kopf phenomenon. The, chlorophyll, the, the, the red coloration is due to the predominance of red pigment r phycoerythrin It is found in combination with r phycocyanin So it imparts red coloration to the algae. And rest of the pigments present are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll D, minded chlorophyll B is completely absent. Beta carotenes and beta carotenes. Reserve food material you know is chloridian starch, chloridicide, and monoglycerates in some cases. Reproduction takes place by all the three methods, vegetative, asexual, and sexual means. He just included only one class and in Rhodophyta and that is none other than Rhodophyceae. He then subdivided Rhodophyceae into two subclasses. What are these? Bangioidae and Floridae. In Bangioidae, he included only one order, Bangioles, and in Floridae, he included six orders. And what are these? Nimalionales. Gladiales, Cryptonemials, Gigartinials, Rhodomeniales, and Ceramials. So we will be concentrating only on Nimalionales and Ceramials. In Nimalionales and, and Ceramials, we have formation of carpospores. In Nimalionales, carpospores are haploid. Whereas in ceramials, carpospores are diploid. Carpospores are formed directly or indirectly. Carpospores are formed as a result of meiosis. They are haploid in nature in nemalionials. Whereas in ceramials, zygote does not undergo meiosis. It undergoes mitosis. And produces the carpospores which are diploid. Whereas in nemalionials, the zygote undergoes meiosis. Then it produces the carpospores. So carpospores here are haploid. Whereas in cerium ceramials, these are diploid. So in red algae, we will be studying now nemalionales. In nemalionales, we will be studying one type. And that will be Bartrachosperma. And the second order we will be studying is ceramials. In which we will be studying the type, only one type, that is polysiphonia. 
the reference which I have used. What are the references? Come on, guess. Yes, it's none other than the Cryptogamic Botany Volume 1, Algae and Fungi by G.M. Smith. At the end, I would like to thank you, my class, my students. I've been listen, listening to me patiently. If you like the video, please like it and share it. Thank you.